Greetings. My name is Sue, and I'm here to talk with you about meditation. Today I celebrated my 500th day of, med of, medita of meditating every day. I'm practicing speaking onto a dot that I glued a dot onto the screen of my phone and made my iPod. And I'm gonna see if it looks better. If I'm looking more, I wanna look at you because I'm talking to you. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. Thank you for being on the planet at the same time as I am <laughs> so we can have this interaction in the eternal present moment. So I've been on coming on this thing for about two weeks, maybe, every day, and I, it is my intention to channel Pure Source Energy and to talk about meditation, which has changed my life in an, a ridiculously amazing way. Um, I've gone through lots of different things, um, see, sitting, how to sit, not, not a lot, but I'll talk about that another day. Today, I woke up in the middle of the night and <clears throat> I realized how much, well, for one thing, when you meditate, you're in your body. And I feel uncomfortable because I'm not looking where I normally look, so I'll try that. So you're in your body and everybody's body is in a different place every day like that's one thing I've learned about my body is that I can do one yoga routine one one flow whatever one day and be like killing it right all my muscles are loose I'm getting into the pose almost all the way I'm feeling really flexible and then the next day I'll come and I'll go to yoga or I'll do yoga, the very exact same thing. And it'll be like, oh, my body's aching, I can't do blah, 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 blah. So our bodies are changing every day. And stuff happens. I mean, our emo okay, we're, an, we're a system, our whole body, mind, spirit, soul. Kitty cat. This is, we're, we're a system where we're, everything affects everything else. Your emotions affect your um, your hormonal system or your the chemical system or the electrical system, the nervous system. Everything affects everything. Your emotions affect things. Your diet, what you put in your body, how much water you drink. I mean, I'm just, I'm talking like this because it's like, it seems so obvious to me, but... I need to slow down and realize that here comes a kitty. <laughs> realize that everyone's in a different place as far as diet, exercise, meditation. I haven't even, I don't even know where the moon is. I think it's still in Aries. Feels like it for sure. Um, so I woke up and I realized that, okay, last night I, let me preface this with last night I did yin yoga and I wanted to talk about, I want to talk about yoga for sure, but I've been practicing yin yoga with Paul Greeley on a DVD that I got off of eBay for years, but, but hardcore for the past maybe three years, you know, like at least three times a week. And when I was practicing hot yoga, I was doing both, and it was fantastic. Because yin yoga, you hold each posture for, you know, some sometimes you hold them for five minutes. So you just relax, you use the weight of your body to just, it's like, oh, it's, I recommend yin yoga to every being on this planet. And I love the Paul Greeley DVD because there's three one hour flo yoga flows. And there's, you can listen to it with all the instructions, which I did for a long, 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 long time. And then finally, I just wanted it to be quiet because Paul talks incessantly. 
he doesn't stop talking, which is amazing because he's constantly teaching. He doesn't talk about the weather. He doesn't talk about the fact that his wife is one of the people doing yoga. You know, he doesn't talk about anything. He teaches. Paul Greeley, G-R-I-L-L-Y. So anyway, you've got this great DVD set where you can either listen to it with the instructions or listen to it without, just with the basic commands. And the thing about it, that part is it comes with music, which I don't love, but I usually turn it down as low as I can to be able to hear him and then listen to my own music. So I've sorted that out. So while I was doing yin yoga last night, I had one of those nights where everything was just like, Damn, like getting into every single pose, super deep, super flexible, super comfortable, nothing. I mean, it was hurting, but I was able to, I just, I, it was on, it was lit. And afterward, I felt so good. I felt lighter. And what, what I believe, and what I'm sure everybody already knows, is that when you stretch, especially when you hold a stretch for a minute, five minutes, instead of just like boom, boom, stretch, stretch. No, you're holding it for up to five flipping minutes. And so you're getting way into the muscle, into the joint. And you're st the thing about yin yoga is you, you stress the bones, which is super good for the bones because it keeps them nice and strong. So yin yoga, I love you. Paul Greeley, shout out. Paul. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> okay. So I woke up in the middle of the night and I realized that we store so much stress in our joints and our muscles and in our, even in our bones, I bet, in our organs. We store stress in our body. We store our memories in our body. It's all in our body. And when you stretch your body and open up those, like, open up those joints, open up, open the space, let more, okay, let the synovial fluid, after it's been warmed up, go into those spaces. And synovial fluid is like, it's like this, it's like a, a gel that at, at body temperature is pretty, you know, it's there, it's not like ice cold, it's not immovable. I mean, when I move my wrist, <clears throat> this, there's synovial fluid in there. But if I move my wrist for a half an hour, the synovial fluid is going to be, and even in my fingers, you know, the synovial fluid gets, at the, as warm as your body gets, the synovial fluid gets that warm and it gets liquefied. This is my understanding and it's per absolutely in layman's terms it's not scientific but so this then the synovial fluid lets everything just be like super smooth it's like lubricant it's like <laughs> it's like three in one oil it's like what is that stuff called can't remember anyway so that's my that was my great realization in the middle of the night when I woke up I realized that when you, when you sit to meditate, you get pretty, if you haven't been stretching, if you haven't been working out, if you haven't been getting your body warm, like to the point where you sweat, dude, you're going to be, there's going to be some shit inside of your body. Just saying. Pardon my phone. Shh. But there is. And so when you sit down to yoga, you're going to be a little bit like, a lot of scritchy, scratchy stuff's gonna be coming up, and that's normal. That's all I wanted to say. And you, if you, as you are taking this commitment to meditate every day for 20 minutes at the first thing in the morning, have you, once you take that commitment, you're gonna to wanna to do, your inner being is gonna to start to, to, to remind you, to teach you, to show you the things that are gonna be most beneficial for your meditation practice. It's cool, everything. And you can listen and obey, and you, or you can rebel and put it off, which I'm learning to listen and obey. <laughs> yes, I am, I'm, I do it more and more. 
So right now we are in a quarantine. We're in a global pandemic and we um, <clears throat> aren't able to go to the yoga studios. Let's say you go to a gym and they have yoga class or body flow or, you know, in the gym and you go once a week after you lift or one, one day of your workouts or go into yoga or you go to a yoga studio or in practice with, with live teachers, just like at the gym. Now for me with hot yoga, which I don't practice anymore, but for me with hot yoga, that was fantastic. You know, it gets into every joint, every cell, every muscle and just rings it out. And I love it. Oh my God, it's the hardest friggin' workout that you'll ever, ever, ever do. And when you're done, our yoga studio never had a shower. It always had a hose. It just has a, it just has a hose for like, so for like 10 or 11 years after every practice, I would go outside and hose off with ice cold water. It was so refreshing and if I didn't, I'd, I'd be, I'd just be so cold. I'd be so cold, like freezing cold when I got home. Like you have to take a shower and you're freezing. But with I, taking an ice cold shower afterwards, it seals in all the heat. So it's like, ooh, it's just like a sauna inside your body. I love hot yoga. I am an adherent. <laughs> I'm a believer. Do it. You can't do it, so never mind. Um, you will do it someday. We'll do it someday. I know we will. We're gonna win, the light wins. <laughs> so the more you can get into your body, warm it up, stretch it, the easier your seated yoga meditation practice will be. The person, the, the beings, where I learned med this meditation, I've been practicing meditation for over 30 years, okay? Sometimes I'll go for a few days regular, sometimes I'll you know, do it once a week, but this is the first time in my life that I've ever done it every single day for 500 days. I'm amped about it. I love it. I love it. It's changed my life forever and ever. Um, so the more you can get stuff out of your body, the, 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 the peace, more peaceful and the more quiet you can become. When your body is quiet, you are quiet. I mean, when you quiet, you're, it's it's in concert. You know, it's like your mind starts to quiet, but then your body is like scritchy. So that's about as far as you can go. But the more you release from your body, and the more quiet and relaxed your body can be, the more you can see sink deep into absolute stillness, which that's where source lives, that's what source is, and that's what I mean by you plugging in. You plug in. And when you plug in every day for 20 minutes a day and commune with this source, with the source of all, with the one, with pure consciousness, with God, with source, with the universe, with the most high, with all that is, with the one. When you commune there, only 20 minutes a day, that plug-in keeps you lit until the next day, keeps you fired up, keeps you connected, keeps you... And you can go back to that stillness in a flash. Like if you feel yourself like, oh my God, I'm starting to get heated, this person's driving me up the wall. It's like, go in. You can just jump just like that. Go into your heart. Go into the stillness. Go into the spaciousness that is you. And realize that A, you created that situation with your thoughts. It's true. Believe it. <laughs> I can talk more about that another time. And then B, you can change it instantly by changing your response slash reaction. And this is, this, is, this is why I'm doing this YouTube channel. This is why I'm making a video every single day. Because 
of the monumentalness, the absolute magnificence. Monumentalness isn't a word, but it's okay. It's magnificent, this practice, this, this connection with source. It, on the individual level, it's, it's massive. And, and as each individual has a massive shift in consciousness and suddenly discovers that they are peace of mind more and more every, as every day passes, each person doing this, taking this control of this, of their, of their thoughts, this is going to change the world. This has changed my world. My world is, it's new. It's a new world. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for breathing deep. Thank you for allowing Source to love you. You know, Source adores you, Source. You are the beloved of Source. You are your Source's favorite. <laughs> and the more you meditate, the more you let that in. It just, it's, it just naturally happens. And for, for all of us, most of us who have lived in self-hatred, not knowing why, like, why do I hate myself? Why do I hate life? Why is this so fucking hard? Why? You know, like, like, uh. Well, I got the easy, easy answer. It's easy, and it's, it may not be simple, right? It, it does take, it takes change, change in your body, change in your mind, change in your habits, but it's like, it's a really good drug, and you're going to crave it, and I hope you really enjoy this, this practice. I really, really do. I would love to answer any questions that you may have about it, or I'd love to hear your point of view. Um, your experiences with meditation. I it's, I love it. I love talking about it. So, hit me up. See the beauty in all things, in yourself. Even in your perceived imperfections. Acknowledge the miraculousness of the the system that is you. This physical, mental, emotional, spiritual frigging amazing system it's ridiculously over the top we are so gifted so relish your gifts relish your beauty relish the peace that is within you know <laughs> it's amazing so have a beautiful prosperous day I love you. Thank you. Peace.